Hi there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Compound interest is the interest computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. So compound interest is a way to earn money because you don't just earn using your original money, but also the interest you earned. To give you a deeper concept of compound interest, reflect the following questions. Have you ever lent money to someone like a friend, sibling, or relative? If so, would you let them pay more than or less than or just equal to what you lent to them? Since you consider to help them, probably you will answer just an equal amount is okay even though your money has been used for a period of time. But, I'm sure some will answer that you should receive more than the amount they borrowed and no one will say that you should receive less than the amount they borrowed. I know you have your own perspective in life, but let us see if compound interest will change your view in life regarding loans or borrowings, savings, and investment. Are you familiar with credit cards? We have what we called permadebt, which means a continuous outstanding balance of a credit card where they pay the monthly minimum that fits in their budget to lessen the burden of interest monthly, but tries to add some debt again in the following month so the debts never end. Example, problem solving. Due to COVID-19 pandemic Miss Dada, a female resident of Barangay may pack a Kaiser somewhere in Quezon province thinks of a business that can provide for her needs as well as the need of her neighbors so she can be of help even in this trying time. Having no money at hand she decided to borrow from a bank as the startup capital of 50,000 Cuban pesos at 7% interest rate compounded annually and payable within five years. Compute for the interest yield. Compound interest includes the interest from the current year and added on the principal at the start of the following year, which means that the previous interest earns interest as well, together with the principal until fully paid. So the interest yielded on simple interest is lower than the compound interest. The amount at the end of five years in simple interest is 67,500 Cuban pesos while in compound interest it is 70,705.39 Cuban pesos. Therefore, if you are a borrower make sure that the interest on your loan is not too high if you will find a lender that offers simple interest better grab it that a lender who offers compound interest. Notice that the formula to find the future value in a compound interest is given by F equals P times quantity of 1 plus R raised to the power of T, where F equals future value, P equals principal amount, R equals compound interest rate, T equals time or time in years. Also, to find the compound interest, just deduct the principal, P, from the computed future value, F. Activity 2.1 Write the word true if the statement is correct, otherwise write false on a separate answer sheet. If your answer is false, write the word or phrase that will make the statement correct. 1. Permadebt decreases the amount of money available on hand to spend in the future. True. 2. Compound interest works well if you save early for retirement or invest early. True. 3. The longer it takes for you to pay a debt the smaller the interest you pay. False, the longer you pay the debt the greater interest you pay. 4. If borrowers pay at least the minimum payment every month of their debt, their credit standing is not good. False, the debtor is still good in standing since no penalty will be charged. 5. If you are planning to invest, compound interest is better than the simple interest. True. Activity 2.2. Assuming that your father asks you about investment and wants to know the interest that will be earned if he will invest 500,000 pesos in a certain bank that offers an annual compounding interest of 8% for 5 years. Complete the table below to help your father. 